gas giants are not solid, of course, and because of that we generally tend to overlook them when we are thinking of alien life. But actually, there is a possibility that there is such alien life even in our galaxy. Carl Sagan was the first one to really popularize this idea of life on gas giants, and he reasonably explained that laws of physics do not stop such life from evolving somewhere in the universe. So let's take a look at how that alien life would even operate. So the most simple life forms present on gas giants would most likely be tiny organisms that would use the organic compounds present in the atmosphere of their planet. But the one problem would be that they would fall downwards towards the center of the gas giant and fry due to pressure and temperature. But what is possible is that these tiny organisms could reproduce in mass and some of the extreme winds present on the gas giants would pick up some of the organisms that were falling and lift them back to the top of the atmosphere. And that process could pretty much go on for billions of years. This is the most simple ecosystem imaginable and there likely are many such gas giants in the universe with such life forms present on them. But let's not stop there since there could be much more complex systems. It is possible that on some of the gas giants from simple tiny life forms evolved an organism that could float on the atmosphere and would pretty much not have a problem with falling down. As Carl Sagan said, these floaters could be gigantic, the size of cities, and one of the reasons these floaters could get so big is because gas giants have enormous surfaces. For example, the surface area of Jupiter is 120 times larger than the surface area of the Earth. And because of that, there is much more room for life. Similar to how fish grow bigger in bigger fish tanks. So yeah, floaters could get enormous and could feed off from organic compounds present and from the sunlight. But out of floaters could evolve hunters, which would naturally keep the population of floaters in check so that it doesn't get overcrowded on the planet. But let's imagine an even more complex system. Let's say a system as complex as the one on the Earth, where you have many species all co-evolving with each other. Such an environment may be present, and out of that complex environment could evolve and rise single species that are self-conscious and as intelligent as us humans, but of course in a completely different form. Now despite the fact that they could be as smart, the environment that they are in offers less opportunity to build and find innovations because it is all gas. But maybe these intelligent species that evolved out of this environment could maybe find a way to build a pun in the atmosphere present there and would get more advanced and possibly leave their gas giant planet and settle anywhere else. That would be pretty amazing. And remember, laws of physics do not prevent such a crazy thing from even happening. So considering that we as of right now know that there are 2 trillion galaxies in the universe and that each galaxy has an average 100 billion stars and that each star has a planet or at the very least every 10 star has a planet, then we can conclude that in a universe this big that such a thing described here may even exist.